Welcome to a new video. I already showed you how to install Aurora Store to get the best of the Google Play Store or in general to have access to all the applications of the Google Play Store on your Huawei devices. And now a new update has arrived for the Aurora Store. Version 4 is out that changes a lot in the user interface and has some special tweaks for Huawei users. So I think it is good to take a look at it again. Let's take a look at my App Store folder where I have Aurora Store installed brand new and I will guide you through the welcome screen of the new version of Aurora Store. So as you can see here you now have the option to say okay I have to accept the terms of services here which is very important as well as I have a FAQ, I have a source code, I have license, a privacy policy and disclaimers and I can hit next to set what I want to have, either a native based installer available on all devices, a session based installer for bundled and split APKs, or some of the other options here that is not available for Huawei devices. So keep the default session installer, and then you can set up your theme that you want to have. I like the system theme, so I click next. I can have an accent color, a different accent color. If you'd like to have like this accent color, for example, I can switch to this. And I have to grant it some rights here. As you can see, external storage management is already granted. So I have to grant it external storage access. I click grant here, say allow, and installer permission. So it has the option to call the installer and we can install stuff. So allow installing as well. Then we finish it. Then it finds that we have a Huawei device and it needs to spoof the agent to tell Google that we are using a different device so we are able to log in with our credentials or with a guest account. So I say apply here and device spoofing has been applied. So what I have here right now I can either use anonymous login to anonymously search for apps. So I click anonymous and it will take a while. Sometimes it can be that anonymous login is not working and especially if you like to have all your Google apps that you previously installed in a cool list so you can choose from them which you want to install now. You have of course the option to also use the Google account to log in but for this demonstration purpose I will just log in via the guest account and you can see it starts populating the applications that are available in the uh, store, the Google or Apple's, uh, the, the, not Apple, the Play Store, this is how it's called. And you can see I have the option to just install some of the popular or the, yeah, the, the recommended for me applications and so on. You can see we have now the apps tab, we have a games tab specifically for games and we have an update tab where we can check updates. If I click here it will list all the updates for applications that it detected on my system and for example I didn't update Amazon Shopping which is not I think available in the uh, Huawei App Store, Telegram and a Swift keyboard and some other things that it detected here that I have the option to update. One thing that doesn't work on Huawei devices is if I press the update all button it will not update in the background. It will download the package and then start the installer so you get an installer screen and you have to install or update manually. This is one annoyance but you cannot yeah, circumvent it somehow or work around it because Huawei doesn't open up the root file system for third-party applications. If it would do it, then we could have installed Aurora services, which will take care of automatically installing those for us. But we get a nice little list of updates. And if you have some applications that you want to update, you can keep them updated also with the Aurora store. If you don't mind the annoyance by yeah, doing this manually. Then we can go into the games category and we have uh, like the for you category where it is listing yeah, game recommendations for me like premium games like Hitman Sniper for example or GTA San Andreas. But also I have my top charts here where I get top free, top grossing, top uh, trending and top paid applications or in this case uh, games that I can see here. And I have of course categories where I can search uh, the various different games that I want to have. And the same goes for applications as well. So I have my top charts here and there I have also the subcategories that I like to see. Then what we have also in the Aurora Store, we can go directly to downloads by clicking the downloads button here, which is new. 
and we have another button here which will open up a sub menu where your logo usually is resided here if you're logged in and you have also the option to see my games and uh, apps so it will list all your installed games and apps that are installed and you have some other options like long press we can add it to a blacklist so if you have for example an application that you want to update via the uh, Huawei app gallery you can add it to the blacklist so it will not pop up in the update manager and you have also a save app bundle option where you can save it for sharing further on you can uninstall the application or get to app info which will go to the native app information of Android and uh, then we have apps on sale which is interesting so there are also apps that you can buy apparently um, which is available in here it's taking a bit for loading but you can see there are some applications and just click this one here and you can see that uh, it is free in this case so I'm not sure if you can get paid applications you can see these are all free free this is a paid one and here you can see also a price at the bottom so you have the ability if i click here app purchases is not available in anonymous accounts so you have to have a logged in account but then you have also app purchases um, that are possible then if you have uh, clicked away the spoof manager and, and you are on a huawei device you can go into the spoof manager and you can spoof various different phones or tablets in here and as you can see here this is a long list and it is now spoofing the oneplus 8 pro for me so i'm able to install uh, the applications so you have various different uh, yeah, devices that you can spoof with and you can also set uh, the um, ling language here as well so it is yeah spoofing another language for you might be helpful if you have to access an application that is only available in a specific location um, like uh, New Zealand for example the banking apps are only available in the New Zealand um, store and not in the German one for example we have a blacklist manager we can see all the uh, applications that we blacklisted or that we want to blacklist so we have also the list here of applications and we can say if I don't want to uh, update 9gag I can set it here and it's then in the blacklist and won't, up, won't be updated then we have the downloads accessible here as well we have the accounts where we have the option to log out as uh, the anonymous user and go in and uh, with our own account and we have some other settings in here where we have the option to set filters uh, filter f-droid applications for example which automatically filters out um, f-droid applications from the app list automatically which is pretty handy so you don't have to um, blacklist them manually and you only get the version from the F-Droid store instead. We have the installation process, so we can uh, use a different installation method here. Instead of session installer, we can have a native installer, root installer, Aurora services. Like I said, uh, it makes more sense to have a session or native installer. Um, I only use the session installer so far. We can also force clear the installation session if there's for force clear that if there's some issues. There's some customizations like the theme and accent color here again and we can go to downloads and have some options for downloads let's use uh, the external storage if you have some an m card for example uh, we can delete the apk post install and the active downloads available we can set this up to uh, more if we have a better internet connection that is basically everything this overview of this newly version um, aurora store version 4 and this of course does not only work on huawei devices i showed it now on my matepad pro this is why it's more huawei specific but if you have other devices that are not running google play store or google play services and you want to still install google play applications you can do this so with the aurora store just like for example in selfish OS, where you also have the option to use aurora store to install install applications not all, all of them will work because google play services are sometimes required but uh, most of them will just install file and work that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have questions ask them in the comment section and until the next time bye